It's been a heck of a game so far. We're in the bottom of the ninth with two outs, an 0 2 count rest on Detroit. Here comes the pitch. Fouled off, chased a wide one. One and two is the count. Detroit's game winning run sits on third after pulling off a play for the history books. A risky double steal. Nobody's been able to swipe a bag from this defensive powerhouse all season, but Detroit has cracked their code. The runner on third is taking a generous lead off the bag. The pitcher throws over. It's bobbled! Runner's making a break for home! It's gonna be close! He's, he's... Good evening. Francis? Am I, uh, interrupting something, Jensen? How'd you know where to find me? I know you like to think you're off the grid these days, but I am the one who programmed your Infolink's GPL tracker. Back when I used to work for Sarif. We don't work for Sarif anymore, Francis. Be that as it may. And I distinctly remember telling you never to ping my location again. Except in an emergency. That's how I remember you saying it. A year ago, when the rest of the world thought you were dead and I helped you get out of Alaska, in fact, I seem to recall you adding, and I quote here, I really owe you one. Richard. I don't recall saying it quite like that. Well, it just so happens there's something in Prague that I need your help with. Tonight. Kind of busy. Investigating TF-29, I know. But if you help me with this, or even, I promise. Fine, what do you need? I've been hired to vet a company, a freelance job. Someone in Prague was helping me, but, uh, he's gone radio silent. <laughs> you mean he stopped taking your calls? I tracked the GPL signal on his phone to a bar named Zatopek. I don't know if he's alive or dead. He could have been robbed or decided to get drunk. The only thing I know for sure is that he is jeopardizing my assignment. Why do I get the feeling you're doing more than just vetting a company? He goes by the name Slaw. I need you to find out what happened to him. Send me the address of the bar. Sure, but... Jensen, as I tried to tell you before you cut me off, you need to be careful. Zatopek Bar is in a pocket of Prague that doesn't take kindly to augmented people. An alley off Klimova Street. They're known to get violent there. Are you warning me because you're concerned for my well-being, or because you need me for this job? Just watch yourself, Jensen. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Deus Ex Mankind Divided. This is, uh, Systems Rift. First thing I'm gonna do is... Get my remote hacking. Upgrade that. Yeah, that's the first thing I'm always going to do now, from now on, for any of the future DLCs. Because I used the shit out of this AUG. Also going to boost up the fortifying. Well, actually I'll save that for now. I'll save the rest of my practices until I actually come across uh, stuff I need to use it on. So... Hopefully this uh, DLC will be a lot longer than the uh, previous one. That one was kind of short. I mean, uh, it was only two episodes long. So hopefully this one will be longer, especially since I paid money for it. Stop right there, Hanser. I need to see your papers. This doesn't look like a checkpoint. And you don't exactly look like a police officer. And you do not look like someone who is going to pull out a guitar to sing songs about peace and love. Papers. Now! Uh... Hold. Back off. Provoke. I think I'm gonna back off. Alright. I can see you're serious. I'm not looking to cause any trouble. You better not. This is an AUG-free zone. And we will shoot any AUG who enters before they decide to go crazy again. Now get out of here. All right, we'll find another way to sneak in. I'm sure there is one. I don't know why Jensen doesn't just, you know, 
change his look a little bit so he doesn't stand out so much. I mean, it's not that hard to hide his Og appearance. All he has to do is just maybe wear a beanie to cover that little dent on his forehead. And then uh, maybe wear actual sunglasses instead of those kind of shades. Because, I mean, the coat can hide his cybernetic arms and all that stuff. Uh, do they care? Okay, let's wait for him to turn. Alright, now let's do this. Uh, okay, let's go fast. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Yeah, we we're gonna just go straight for that. There we go. Okay. Uh, anything else over in here? Oh, medic box. Even though I never use these hypo sims. Oh, for a moment, I thought that bottle, like, you can grab it. Uh, yeah, let's get the smart vision. And then the uh, glass cloak, glass shield, that's what it is. Uh, I want to change those. I don't like. It. So put the smart vision here. And the glass cloak here. Is that the way you want it? Yeah. Okay, so nothing else in this room. Oh, let's take out the sun gun. We got two people on the outside judging by the map. So let's try to bring them in one at a time. You think it was something? Go look. Oops. Damn, she saw me way too fast. I mean, I'm pressed up against the wall. You think she would look left since that's where the sound... I mean, look to her right since that's where the sound came. But for some reason, she looked immediately to her left. There we go. Don't know why I keep taking everyone's weapons, even though I never end up using them. But whatever. There. You racist bastards can go ahead and chill out over there. Alright, so what's in here? Crafting parts. Another thing I never use. Uh, okay. Ooh, take that. And take the hacking software. Once again, something I never end up using really. There's a lot of items in this game I never end up using. Yeah, I want to abandon so I can add some more augs. Yeah, I want the hack and stealth. We'll just do level 1 for now. See how that does. Uh, did a little bit better. Just try to go fast, I guess. I guess. Uh, we got it. Okay. Mm hmm You guys can pause that if you want to read it. Okay, what else is there? Multi-tool? Still don't really know what the multi-tool does. I've never used it before in this game. I don't think I've ever used it before in this, uh, in the Human Revolution either. I'm probably gonna get spotted because I keep opening all these folders, but I just wanna basically hack as many things as I can to fortify them. There we go. All the folders. Access nice. We got nuke software out of that. Okay. Is there anything in here? I 
feel like there's got to be a reason why, out of all the other buildings, this one is, uh, we're able to enter. And this one has the, you know, lock up front. I guess we can hack this. Uh, let's go fast. Alright, we got this. Trace probe access granted. Uh, okay. Uh huh. You guys can pause all that if you want to read it. I don't know why you keep saying that. I'm pretty sure you guys know the job by now. Alright, set back. You know what? Just because. I don't know why I do that. Alright, down we go. Uh, no. Yeah, this is the way we want to go. Oop. Uh, there we go. Looks like we want to go in here. Okay, can he see me? Or will that like set up set up an alarm? Looks like there's something over here. Oh no, I guess we'll find out. Should we talk to him? Yeah, let's talk to him. Take that. All right, suck. Excuse me. You have some set of balls, Clank. How the fuck did you get in here? This is how you greet all potential customers. You are not a customer. You are just a walking kitchen appliance. You might want to rethink that statement. I'm with Interpol, and I'm looking for someone who's a regular here. Interpol, huh? They giving your kind badges now? I have several regulars. Maybe you can be more specific. He goes by the name Slaw. Yeah, I know him. If he's still here, he's downstairs. After you're done, whatever business you have with him, get the fuck out. Fuck you. This is what you get, bastard. Go down. You're lucky this is a non-lethal playthrough. There you go. Bastard. How about you? What do you gotta say? Back to Golem City, huh? Fuck you too, bastard. There you go. You're also lucky this is a non-lethal playthrough. Watching that. Due to their involvement in an ongoing securities fraud investigation. Oh, you are in the wrong bar, Og. I'm looking for someone named Slaw. This be me, but I no do business with robots. I'm here on behalf of someone you know from Detroit. Gurva, he sent the robot. I tell him I no do job. He no listen. Here, take this and go. It worthless now. It be flight missing and no can be reprogrammed. It open nothing now. Wait, wait a minute. Back up. What are you talking about? What is this? That is Palisade Passport. It be combination employee card and VPN key. It let your boss make remote connection to protected servers inside Palisade Blade. He needed a virtual private network key for a vetting job. Vetting? I don't know what this mean. The job be more like heist of most secure corporate archiving bank in world. He bide me to go inside server room and make connections so he can look at files using passport. Yeah, I see. And how were you supposed to get inside the bank? I worked there. With clean passport, I go places inside. But if I go to wrong place, all the robots and guards come kill me. I no wanted to be die like Simona Saridakis. Who? Oh. She be first engineer killed inside. The blade make update to defense system and... 
Wait, he gitted you to do job for him? Ha! If you are human, I try to stop you. Blade is death trap and I care for human life. But because you are dirty robot, I say go, do it, kill yourself. At the end of the day, no one will care. Fucking asshole. Yeah, I guess we'll appease him. Look, I get it. You hate me and my kind. But I came here to find you, not get into a debate about what it means to be human. Let's finish up amicably and part ways. Amica what? You have passport. I must go back to work soon. Our business be finished. Go. Pritchard, I found Slaw. He backed out of your little bank heist. Heist? Jensen, you, you... You understand he's being dramatic, right? Nothing's being stolen. Did he... give you anything? Yeah, something called a passport. I'll drop it in the mail for you. Don't, Jensen! Look. There's a Converse Cafe being built in your area, near the shoreline. Get inside, activate their holographic system, and I'll explain everything. Alright, since our business is finished... This is what you get for, uh... I look at you and I want to make... Oh, hell no, this is what you get for being a little dick. There you go. Take a nap, you fucker. I'd shoot you in the head too, if I could. But like I said, this is not an lethal playthrough. Oh, okay. Alright, so into the... Diner we go. I think this is a diner. Cafe. Same difference. Okay. Gotta go fast because that was a 60%. We're gonna get spotted. Yep. Let's fortify that just to be safe. There we go. Uh, yeah, I noticed that guard there. Will he say anything if we just go in right now? I know, is there another way in? There is. I'm gonna go back in the way that... I'm going through this way. Yeah, there we go. He's out of the way now. Okay. Anything we can pick up? I don't see anything. Oh, we can hack this. Might as well. Alright, so we gotta go this way. Just fortify everything that we can. There we go. I think I'm being a little too greedy now, so let's get this. There we go. up here? No. Alright, down we go. Alright, so I have to activate the holographic system. But nothing over here. Well, consumable. And crafting parts. And more crafting parts. Is that everything? I think that's everything. Oh, besides that. Alright, through the door we go. That was fast. What'd you do? Chuck a grenade and never look back? Let's cut the small talk, Pritchard. What exactly have you gotten yourself into? It's not as bad as you think. My client, that freelance job that I told you about. Go on. You've heard of the Santo Group, haven't you? The European mega corporation that built... The Utilet Complex, Prague's Og Ghetto. Yeah, I've heard of them. Then you probably know they're building another complex for Augs at Oman. Only, this one's a city. And it's being hailed as a desert paradise. I'm up on current events, Francis. Well, my client is considering a partnership with Santo. But before going all in, 
he wants to know two things. Is Rabia feasible? And is the mysterious group that you're trying to stop also involved with the plan? And the Illuminati? Oh, that might grab your attention. To know for sure, though, I need to get a look at some digital files stored inside the Palisade Blade. On servers leased to Santo, Slaw and his passport were going to help me do it until he chickened out. So you see, Jensen, I really don't intend to steal anything, at least not on my own. You're right. This isn't a bank heist. It's corporate espionage. The kind of thing your client used to pay us to prevent. I never said David Sarif. You didn't have to. Fine. I'm sure Sarif would be willing to pay you too, if that's what you want. But I would have thought you'd do it on principle. You are the one who's obsessed with elites and their secrets. What's that supposed to mean? Just that the Palisade Blade is so full of them. Its owners are willing to kill to keep people out. I'm sure Slaw mentioned the defenses. He might have said something. The grounds and offices are patrolled by Tarva Security Services. And wherever the human guards don't go, there are automated defenses. The best automated defenses money can buy. Anyone detected in an unauthorized zone risks getting killed on the spot, as several employees have discovered. How many deaths have there been? The bank owners pay off the families and keep the details out of the papers, so it's difficult to say. The only one they've publicly acknowledged was the first, an engineer named Simona Saradakis. They used her death to promote their security systems, if you can believe that. And I bet it paid off for them. It increased their client base by at least 20%. Look, Jensen. It's safe to say this will involve more than just parkouring through a few lasers. The passport Slaw stole for us. There is no us here, Pritchard. Slaw says the passport's been flagged. It can't be used because it can't be reprogrammed. Slaw's knowledge of the hacking world is... limited. There's maybe 50 people out there who can reprogram it. I'm one of them, of course. Of course. But another one is much closer to you. A friend and fellow hacker who goes by the handle Shadow Child. She knows me as Nuclear Snake. Why do I feel like I'm in the middle of a bad screenplay you've written? Okay, look. I can tell you're still on the fence about this. Just bring Shadow Child the passport, and if you really don't want to go any further, I'll find somebody else. Please? Hey, a uh, nuclear snake. Who exactly is this Shadow Child? I don't know exactly. She's a legendary hacker who's been at it for as long as I have. Maybe longer. We've known each other for years through online chats. Right. Do you trust her? Do I trust anyone? She's helped me out with a few technical glitches in the past. Her code is solid. And very few hackers in the world know as much as she does about the Blade's inner workings. All right, fine. Give me her address. Apartment 3A at 33 Klimova. It's just minutes away from your current location. You won't regret this. I already do. I'll let her know you're coming. But seriously, think about this opportunity, Jensen. Getting in the blade could result in the mother load of information on the people you are really after. We'll see.